Let us understand how to filter on top of results of window functions. We can use window functions only in select clause. If you try to use window functions in a, any other clause than select clause, the queries will start throwing errors. If we have to filter based on window function results, then we need to use subqueries. Once the query with window functions is defined as subquery, we can apply filter using aliases provided for the window functions. Here is the example where we can filter data based on window functions. In this case, I am connecting to ITVST retail database. DRNK is the alias for our window function dense underscore rank. The query is uh, used as subquery here. The alias for the subquery is Q. We should be able to filter like this. Once again, I am reiterating, specifying aliases is optional, but it is a good practice. This will give us top five products by revenue for each date. As this will only show 10 because of uh, the limitation with respect to SQL magic within Apache Tori Scala kernel, we can leverage this uh, Scala based code snippet and we should be able to see more than 10 records to understand the results better. You can see for each date we are only getting 5 records because we have this condition where q.drnk less than or equal to 5 which means we are getting top 5 products by revenue for each date. Now let's uh, recap the procedure to get top 5 orders by revenue for each day from the beginning so that you can connect all the dots to come up with solutions for complex problems like this. We have our original data in orders and order items. You can connect to IT to detail and then describe on orders and order items. Orders have four fields, ID, date, customer ID, and status. Order items have six fields, item ID, order ID, product ID, quantity, subtotal, and product price. We can pre-compute the data and store in a table or create a view with the logic to generate daily product revenue. Once you have the table or view, we have to use those to compute the rank. If you don't want to have a table or view, you can also have the logic as part of the subquery and you should be able to compute the rank. It is not required that you need to have a view or a table. We can use the query with ranks as subquery to filter so that we can get top 5 products by revenue. Let us see the overall process in action. We have already reviewed the tables, orders and order items. We got the list of columns we have. This is the logic to compute daily product revenue. It is nothing but join between orders and order items filter for complete or closed orders and then group by order date and order item product ID which will give us the daily product revenue. You can see the results here. This is how the rank can be computed using this query itself. The query is added as subquery here with alias Q. So this is the query which actually gives us daily product revenue. On top of this subquery, we have the main query where the ranks are computed. This will take care of getting us ranks. In place of this subquery, you can also use table or view. In, if you want to use table, the results has to be pre-computed with respect to daily product revenue. If you want to use view, the logic has to be named as some view. Then you should be able to replace the subquery with a table or view. Depending upon your preference and the design, you can actually define either a table or a view or a subquery like this. Once we get the ranks, if you want to filter further, then the query will look like this. We have subqueries at different levels. This is the innermost subquery. This will actually give us the daily product revenue. This is the second level subquery where we got the ranks assigned. Using this subquery, we have a column called as DRNK have the rank, we should be able to leverage that and we can apply filter like this. This will give us top 5 products every day based upon the revenue generated for that product. We should be able to run this and we should be able to see the results. Now in place of this innermost query, if you want to use table, the query will look like this. So you can actually describe this daily product revenue which we have created as part of the earlier topics in this section. It have three fields, order date, order item product ID and revenue. So the revenue for each date and the product is pre-computed. We can use that table like this. This is what will give us the ranks. Now this is a subquery. As part of the main query, we have the filter on top of DRNK field to get top five products by revenue for each date. This is how it will look like if you use a table which have the pre-computed daily product revenue results. Earlier we have seen with the logic in a query. Now we have used the table approach. So this is how you should be able to come up with the problem statements like uh, get top five products on daily basis based on revenue. Any filtering that is required on top of uh, analytics functions, we have to use the subquery approach. And as part of the main query, we have to come up with the where clause with the appropriate conditions to filter the data based upon the results that are derived using window functions such as rank, dense rank, etc.